Donna. If you're new, my name is Donna. If not, welcome back. Today's video is just gonna be chilling out. December was such a hectic month, I'm sure for everyone. So this month, I'm really just trying to focus on myself and my mental health and just kind of reset for the new year. I'm not gonna lie, it's been really hard to get back to my normal routine. So I wanted to use today to kind of get a good fresh start for the week. If you didn't see my last video, one of my goals for the month was to redo my office. And it's been a week now. I absolutely love it. I spent so much time this weekend just hanging out in here. It's become a space where I feel really creative and so comfortable. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of update on my office, but the Kia stuff didn't come in yet, so maybe the next video. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. I post a lot of my daily updates on there. A bit of a life update, I got braces. I got them last week. It's one of those things that you can't just go in and get braces unless you go to the dentist regularly. It took about two years because I had to change out my fillings and get some crowns put in. My dentist office isn't open on the weekends, so I have to take time off from work to go to the dentist. Why I got traditional braces versus Invisalign. I was offered both options, but there is one tooth that I needed a root canal on. My orthodontist said he could remove it, and then he could close the gap. That would limit me to just have traditional braces versus Invisalign. Even I paid two grand for the root canal and then pay another 3,000 for my braces. He's like, that root canal is not a guarantee that tooth will be healthy long term it might need to get extracted or it will decay so i will end up having a gap and have to pay for implants i chose that route even though i was really tempted to pay the five grand but that seemed ridiculous because getting my tooth extracted was only going to cost me 20 bucks he did say it's going to take about six to eight months to close that gap and it's on the side of my mouth so i'm not really worried because i know a lot of people that had to get braces and depending on their size of their mouth they had to get three or more of their teeth removed you have a choice to get Invisalign. Do the Invisalign just because it's comparable in the price. A lot of people say that you end up having to wear Invisalign for about a year to 18 months versus traditional braces. You have to wear them for at least 20 to 24 months, I believe. It's really difficult to eat with these braces because things get stuck in them. You have to be very careful what you eat. Just to floss and get into little areas around my brackets is really hard versus getting Invisalign where you can just take it out and do a quick floss and clean and put your trays in. Braces will give you a better outcome on how straight your teeth can be. Invisalign will only help you achieve maybe like 80% of where you want to be versus traditional braces will get you to about 90 to 95%. If you're deciding on getting braces and you have the finances to, just do it. I wish I had done it a lot sooner. In the long term, it's going to save you a lot of money and it's going to look better. I did a little bit of research of what I should have ready to go when I get them. And there's six things I do recommend. Number one on my list is the Philips. Sonicare electric toothbrush easy to travel with it even comes with its own travel case removes four times more plaque than manual toothbrush improves the health of your gums number two on my list are the dental floss picks easy to grip with fingers can help maneuver between teeth and the brackets convenient and quick compared to regular flossing Number three on my list is the Inner Dental Brushes Floss Picks. By using this once a day, it keeps your teeth and gums healthier, helps clean around your brackets, prevents plaque buildup. Number four on my list is the Aura Gel. It provides instant pain relief, protects from sores from irritations, easy to apply and travel with. Number five on my list is the water pick. It helps remove food from the brackets. It's 29% more effective than regular flossing and it's easy and quick to use. Number six on my list are the braces wax. It helps create a barrier between your mouth and the brackets. It relieves pain caused by rubbing. Applies to brackets to help with any discomfort.
Nintendo Switch wireless controller. I want it the all white theme and I love how this has the gold accent right here. I'm gonna go look and see if there's any cool Switch games I can play. If you guys have any recommendations, please comment down below. Bad. I just want to say thank you for joining me today. I know it was really chill. I really just wanted to spend this weekend getting used to my braces. And as you can see, it's still a little bit challenging to talk. I feel like I still have a lisp. I'm just having a little bit of a hard time adjusting. But if you guys have had braces before and have any advice for me, please comment down below. Any advice would help. Again, thank you for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Until next time, I hope you have the best day of your life. Bye. Bye.